Now we are going to talk about the acquisition parameter in Coham administration. In acquisition parameter there are three options that is the currency and exchange rates, budgets and funds. We will discuss one by one. Using currency and exchange rates you can define currency and exchange rate used for the acquisition. To, to define that just select this option and you will find here already some currencies with exchange rate exchange value have been defined if you want to create a new currency click on this new currency give the currency name the value or rate of the currency if you are using any particular symbol for that currency it can be inserted here and you have to make it active this active currency must have rate of means this rate should be minimum 1.0 then only it will get activated if you make it zero or if you do not give any value so it will not get activated so while entering the value you have to enter at least the minimum one one here so that so uh, to so as to make it active this new currency and can be it, uh, it can be utilized later so we are not going to define any currency because all the currencies um, uh, already defined if you want to add any new currency you can use this option and uh, later if you want uh, to edit any particular currency you can use the edit button given here you can see if you want to increase the value of Indian rupee or symbol you want to change or if you want to deactivate it you can do accordingly so I'm not going to make any changes the same way there is another option that is the budget this is most important part of acquisition module for acquisition module already there is one budget defined under the name of library budget which is effective from 1st April 2013 and will be effective till 31st March 2014 you can just click on edit and see the detail it means start date in date with description and the total amount of this budget is and this budget is active if you want to lock this budget you just click on lock budget so it will get locked now if you want to create if you want to create any new budget you can click this button and add the value accordingly so we are not going to create any value when you have created the budget in acquisition parameter you will have to define some fund for that particular budget to add the fund for defined budget you will have to click on funds so you can see here funds for library budget I defined the budget with how many the total 1 lakh I have defined the value for this budget now we are going to see the funds we are going to fix the fund the 50,000 for book and 50,000 for general journal so you can create new funds for library budget so it will allow you to create new fund code with full fund name with the amount and if you want a warning to receive for example you can uh, get the warning based on the amount or if you want to get the warning based on the percentage uh, already use percentage of the total budget uh, fund so you can get the warning if you, you have to fix the value for example 50,000 we have fixed for the book and the 41,000 have been utilized so it will give the warning that your funds are that means you have less fund in your budget you can edit the owner for example I'll take one I'm not going to create any new one I'll just click edit and see here the book fund code book budget 50,000 is fixed 40,000 I have fixed the limit uh, means amount and you can edit the owner you can search the staff value here and you can fix the 
owner if you want you can select the owner and the owner uh, means uh, for this particular book for this particular fund the same way you can add the user also if you want to add any user to this particular budget you can uh, add any particular budget um, any particular user for this so it will be added so i'm not going to use any user for this particular fund for which library you are going to create this fund if you want to restrict access to owner or owner and user and owner user and library so you can restrict the access to this fund then statistics one done on you can use the collection uh, um, uh, authorized value here the same second value is also given so accordingly you can set the value for the different fund in uh, under the budget so we can see the two uh, two fund code have been defined the first one is book journal total allocated amount is this base level allocated this base level is spent as on today 5010 and remaining amount is this so we have discussed about the acquisition parameter in koha administration with currency and exchange rate budget and fund 